Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Saturday Night's Main Event. Hello everybody, I'm Vince McMahon, and I'm standing by with my broadcasting partner, Jesse the Body Ventura, as we are in for one hellacious night here tonight at Saturday Night's Main Event. That's right, Mr. Uh, that's right, Vince. Tonight we have the contract signing of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant as they get all set for WrestleMania 3. And let me tell you right now, I am looking forward to that one. That's right, Jess, and we have some new WrestleMania matches signed for WrestleMania 3 as well. And we will get to that later on in the program. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be the macho man Randy Savage putting his belt on the line right before WrestleMania 3 against the Honky Tonk Man. And it'll be Hillbilly Jim versus King Kong Bundy, the Million Dollar Man versus JYD, Brutus the Barber Beefcake versus Jake the Snake Roberts. And finally tonight, it'll be Superfly Jimmy Snuka versus Big John Stud. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some wrestling excitement. Right now, here's Miji in Oakland in the backstage area with the Honky Tonk Man. Thank you, Vince McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in fact standing here with the Honky Tonk Man, the challenger for the Intercontinental Championship belt and his manager, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, how do you feel about your honky-tonk man's chances tonight as he goes up against the macho man, Randy Savage, for the Intercontinental Championship belt? Well, I tell you something, me, Gene Oakland, the macho man, Randy Savage, is not going to do any damage tonight at all against my honky-tonk man because the honky-tonk man is prime and ready tonight here on Saturday night's main event and baby I tell you it's gonna be something else that's right mean Gene Oakland and after tonight that Miss Elizabeth will be my girl and the macho man Randy Savage will be spending his night and heartbreak hotel <laughs> come on baby let's get to it well, there you have it. You heard it from the Honky Tonk Man and his manager, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Now let's hear from the Intercontinental Champion himself, Macho Man Randy Savage, standing by with the lovely Miss Elizabeth. Macho Man Randy Savage, you're going to put your title on the line tonight, so close to WrestleMania 3. Why even do that? Because, you see, at the Royal Rumble, that no good for nothing Honky Tonk Man came and he cracked my head with the guitar. And the Macho Man will not forget about that. Ooh, yeah. Let me tell you something else. He's going to prove once and for all that the Macho Man, Randy Savage, is scared of nobody. Ooh, yeah. Ever since winning this intercontinental title, I have not given up. Not one bit. I've taken on every challenge. I've taken on everybody from the top of the cream to the bottom of the dirt. Ooh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, tonight, Honky Tonk Man, you're gonna learn why the Macho Man Randy Savage is number one. Ooh, yeah. Come on, Elizabeth. Let's go. Well, there you have it, folks. You have heard it from both the Macho Man Randy Savage and the Honky Tonk Man. Back to you, Vince. Well, there you have it, folks. The Honky Tonk Man getting ready to square off against the Macho Man Randy Savage. And tonight, the Honky Tonk Man will have a chance to take the title away from Randy Savage. Well, I gotta tell you something, McMahon. The Honky Tonk Man, he stands a damn good chance of taking the title away from the Macho Man here tonight. 
and this is Saturday night's main event. You know as well as I do, anything can happen at main event, baby. Well, we'll soon find out as that match is coming up next here on Saturday night's main event. Let's take it out to Howard Finkel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saturday night's main event. The first contest of tonight is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWF Intercontinental Championship. First, the opponent making his way down the aisle from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 245 pounds, with his manager, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Here is the Honky Tonk Man. Well, here he comes, the Honky Tonk Man. And look at the size of that guitar, Jess. Well, I'll tell you what, the Honky Tonk Man had to replace his guitar for after the Royal Rumble. As you saw, the guitar got smashed on uh, the Macho Man's face. Yeah, and I will say from that was no call for for that. In fact, I can tell you right now, Jack Tunney, in fact, finded the Hunky Talk Man for that. As he interrupted the Macho Man's match. Well, why did he find that? Find him for that at the Royal Rumble? There are no rules. Yes, but it wasn't during the Royal Rumble match. Had it had happened during the Royal Rumble match he would have not have gotten fined. Well, I don't know about that one, McMahon. I'm going to have to look into that. And there he goes as he puts that guitar in the corner. Uh, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart now in the corner of the Honky Talk Man. And besides, the Macho Man comes down to the Royal Rumble and eliminates the Honky Talk Man. And I don't think that was legal because the Macho Man wasn't even a member of the Royal Rumble. Well, I don't know about that. I think anything's legal in the Royal Rumble, and I think you know that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion with his manager, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Here comes the Intercontinental Champion. Well, here he comes, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Look at that shiny belt on him as he comes down with the lovely Miss Elizabeth. What's up with uh, Miss Elizabeth? What are you talking about? I don't know, McMahon. Miss Elizabeth looks kind of uh, out of it, if you know what I mean. I have no idea what you mean by that, Jesse, but anyway... The lovely Miss Elizabeth opening the ropes there for the champion. As the champion uh, makes his way through between those ropes. Let's take a look here now. As he looks on at the, uh, the honky-tonk man. Who's doing some kind of hip wiggling. I think Miss Elizabeth might have it in for the uh, honky-tonk man. Folks, this is in fact for the Intercontinental Championship belt. Unprecedented to uh, do such a thing right before a Wrestlemania, I would say. I would happen to agree with you, McMahon. I mean, it is unprecedented uh, indeed, but, uh, you know, the Macho Man Randy Savage does things like that. So, I mean, what do you expect? Well, what if he loses the title before Wrestlemania and then we don't have a Wrestlemania 3 match? There'll still be a WrestleMania 3 match. It'll be him and the Honky Talk Man still. But uh, the Honky Talk Man will be champion. Well, we'll just see. That's if the Macho Man doesn't win. What do you mean the Honky Talk Man will be champion? Well, you said that if the Macho Man lost the belt, we wouldn't have the match. And I said we would still have a match. It'd just be the Honky Tonk Man as champion, that's all. 
as we get a look at that uh, championship belt here that's what this one's all about that WWF Intercontinental Championship belt Macho Man's ready the Honky Tonk Man's ready and we're ready for sure boy look at the Macho Man look at the intensity in those eyes the tension is so thick in here you could cut it with a knife look at Miss Elizabeth boy does she look nervous well, she should be as uh, her man, the macho man, Randy Savage, getting ready to put everything on the line here. As uh, him and the Honky Tonk Man look off at each other. And uh, here we go. As there goes the bell. And we are ready to begin this one. These two lock up here. Is this one for all the marbles? Here at Saturday Night's Main Event. Ugh. Boy, the Macho Man really starts things off here. Ugh. He shoves down the Honky Tonk Man. And now a scoop slam. The Macho Man. It's all Macho Man here thus so far. And now here comes the Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man really going after Randy Savage. We see a nice scoop slam there by the Honky Tonk Man. And a fist punch. And a little, uh... Elbow drop as well. I really don't understand the Macho Man putting his title on the line just before WrestleMania. But if that's the way things have to be, then uh, that's the way things have to be. Oh, nice hip toss there by the Honky Tonk Man. Nice follow up elbow drop maneuver. And again, the Honky Tonk Man showing plenty of offense here tonight against the Macho Man. Look at that look in Honky Tonk Man's face. Oh, what a leg. What a leg indeed. Macho Man getting up. Clothesline. There goes the Honky Tonk Man as the Macho Man gets ready to make his move here. Nice hip toss maneuver by the Macho Man. Goes off the ropes. A nice elbow goes for the cover. Here comes the referee. One, two. No, no. Honky Tonk kicks out. Boy, that was a quick pin by the Macho Man. Indeed it was. A nice suplex there by Macho. As him and Honky Tonk really going after it here tonight what an opener for saturday night's main event would you say mcmahon oh it's a heck of an opener indeed as the macho man has the honky tonk man up in the air a nice suplex by the macho honky tonk man getting up to his feet though as him and the macho man gravel off these ropes off these ropes a nice missile drop kick by the honky tonk man ends the macho man down now oh a punch oh another punch Having the Macho Man wrestling around now. Nice little, nice little suplex there by Honky Tonk Man. Not too bad. He goes off the ropes. Leg drop. Goes for the cover. One, two. No, Macho Man kicks out of that one. Boy, that was a close one for the Macho Man. Boy, I'd say so. Wait a minute, Honky Tonk Man, look out. Here comes the Macho Man. Double X handle. Another double X handle. And another one. Honky Tonk Man suffering now. Hey, he's choking him on the ropes, McMahon. Referee better step in and do something. One. Two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Break it up. Three. Come on. Break it up. Break it up. He breaks it up on the count of three. He really choked the life out of him, McMahon. He already did the damage. The damage was done. A nice backbreaker maneuver there by the Macho Man. And now look out, here he comes. Oh, what a smash. Come on, Honky Tonk, get with it. Don't let him do nothing to you, baby. Little encouraging words from Mouth of the South here. I tell you, Mouth of the South really knows how to, he really has a good stable of wrestlers. He may have Honky Tonk Man getting Macho Man on his feet. Oh, down goes the Macho Man with one bad punch. There's another look at that. Intercontinental belt there as the uh, Honky Tonk Man gets one in on Macho. He's got him down now and he kind of stomps away at him. Ugh, man, he's really going after it tonight. Come on, baby, get on top of him. We again hear some encouraging words. What's he doing now? He's got him on that top rope. And, oh, super suplex from the top rope. He goes for the cover yet again. One. Two and oh, Macho Man kicks out with authority. 
Macho Man has a hold of Honky oh, into the turnbuckle. Now he clobbers him. Again with another clobber. He's clobbering him off those ropes there. Indeed he is. That can almost be considered a... Uh, an illegal chokehold as the Macho Man continues the assault here on the Honky Tonk Man. What a match it's been so far. Nice hip toss by the Macho Man. Goes off of these ropes. Nice elbow. Get off of him, Honky! I wonder what Miss Elizabeth would sound like with a bullhorn. Well, I don't know, McMahon. I've never heard her talk, really. I mean, the Macho Man really never lets her speak. That's one thing about the Macho Man I don't really care too much for. You know, McMahon, sometimes you gotta treat women like children. Meaning, meaning they, uh, should be seen and not heard. A nice scoop slam there by Honky as he goes off the rope. A nice elbow drop. Get a hold of his head, Honky! Here, Mouth of the South shouting instructions saying, Get a hold of his head, Honky. He gets a hold of the Macho Man, tosses him off the rope. Super backdrop off the ropes there, and the Macho Man's hurting. As the Honky Tonk Man gives him the boot. Macho Man's now down. Honky Tonk Man going to the outside here. Miss Elizabeth got in the way. It looks like he shoved Miss Elizabeth down. He goes off the top rope now, and... Oh, double X handle. Goes for the cover. Wait a minute, his legs are on the rope. Here comes the referee. Oh, wait, the referee sees it. He pushes the uh, Honky Tonk Man's legs off the ropes. One, two. Hey, that wasn't fair. The referee got involved. Honky Tonk Man now arguing with the referee. Here comes the Macho Man. Oh, what an attack. The Macho Man, double X handle, double X handle, double X handle, double X handle. He's rapidly beating the Honky Tonk Man. He's got the Honky Tonk Man up in the air. Atomic drop. He takes him, tosses him off the ropes. Out of the ring goes the Honky Tonk Man. And out of the ring after him is the Macho Man. Now these two will fight on the outside of the ring here. Is the Macho Man really chomping at the Honky Tonk Man? Well, the Honky Tonk Man better get back in. You can't win the title that way. Macho Man just knocked him on the railing. Here he goes again. He does it again. Down is the Honky Tonk Man. Wait a minute. Here comes Mouth of the Self, Jimmy Hart. Where did he come from? Oh, he just hits the Macho Man with that megaphone. Wait a minute. Here comes Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth trying to hold down that megaphone. What is she doing? Get out of there, Miss Elizabeth. Macho Man just got knocked out with that megaphone. Oh no, this is not good. The Honky Tonk Man eyeballing Miss Elizabeth. I don't believe it. Miss Elizabeth's between Jimmy Hart and the Honky Tonk Man. This is not good. Somebody needs to come down there. Well, who do you suggest come down there, McMahon? Or the Macho Man needs to come too. Looks like he knocked down the security guard and a railing as well. Referee beginning the 10 count. Well, look at there, Miss Elizabeth, afraid for her life. Don't do it, Hart. Don't do it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What the? Oh, my goodness. He just about hit Miss Elizabeth, but he ended up hitting the other guy. I think we have a count out. I hear the bell going off. I think Jimmy Hart accidentally hit the Honky Tonk Man. Here's the Macho Man. He's back on his feet. He picks up Jimmy Hart. Oh, he throws him into the second row of people there. And now he's going after the Honky Tonk Man. I don't believe it. What about Miss Elizabeth? Uh-oh, Miss Elizabeth trying to pull the Macho Man off of him. She is indeed pulling the Macho Man way back here. The Macho Man talking. I think it's too late for that. I think we have a double count out here. We have a double count out, and we have a bunch of people knocked down over there. Look at that. The railing's knocked down. The people's knocked down. Everything's knocked down, Jesse. I hang the mouth of the south now, trying to control the honky-tonk man. Let's get the official word. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this match, as a result of a double disqualification, as a result of a double count out, is a draw. Well, there you have it, folks. This match is, in fact, a draw as we see Miss Elizabeth trying to hold back the Macho Man here as they, uh, the Macho Man's yelling at Miss Elizabeth to get out of here. What are you doing? Mouth of the South, yes, he was pointing to the uh, announcer table over there. Now the Honky Talk Man has the championship. Here comes the Honky Talk Man with that championship belt. And I think he has bad intentions. Oh, yes, indeed, he does as he knocks down the Macho Man. Macho Man Randy Savage has just been clobbered by that belt. And now look out, Howard Finkel getting out of Dodge. As uh, the Honky Tonk Man definitely sending a message here to the Macho Man Randy Savage as he picks him up. He's going to do something else to him. I think it's shake, rattle, and roll time, McMahon. Indeed it is, as there's the shake, the rattle, and roll. He rolled them over, all right. Macho Man laid out. What's he got there? He's got the belt. What's he going to do? He lays the belt across the Macho Man's chest. Oh, and he stops on him again for good measure. I don't believe it. What a terrible display by the Honky Tonk Man. For the South getting in there, he's standing by him. I don't believe this. These two are despicable. Boy, you sound like Daffy Duck. Boy, look at the smirk on these guys' face. It's despicable, Jesse. That's what it is. Despicable. I can't believe it. As the Honky Tonk Man has possibly destroyed the Macho Man here tonight. We can need a stretcher in there, and that may be what the Honky Tonk Man meant to do all along. Well, I tell you, it's brilliant strategy by Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. If that's, in fact, what they had in mind, I don't know. I just don't know. Very brilliant indeed, if that is, in fact, was Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart's intentions, was to get the Macho Man hurt before WrestleMania three. And he certainly did that. Well, I tell you what, McMahon. When WrestleMania rolls around, men, desperate men, do desperate things. And I think that's exactly what we saw here tonight. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of what we saw here tonight, let's take you now to Nijin Oakland as he's standing by with Hillbilly Jim. Boy, what a disgraceful match that was. Quite the match that was. I will attempt to get an interview with the Honky Tonk Man later on tonight. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing by with a challenger tonight as Hillbilly Jim gets set to go up against the gigantic monster himself, King Kong Bundy. And I'm talking about none other than that. Here is Hillbilly Jim and his thoughts on that match. Hillbilly Jim, of course, we all know that you are all set to go in a match at WrestleMania 3 against King Kong Bundy in a sort of an odd match, if you will, against you and some midgets versus him and some midgets. How did this all come about? Well, I'll tell you, Mean Gene Oakland, back in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, as you all know, my original ancestry tree originally extends from Knoxville. Uh, there was this King Kong Bundy feller was messing with some midgets, and uh, I come across him, and of course, very fortunately, I was there to stop him. And now at WrestleMania 3, we are going to square off and the squared circle legally to find out who the better man is me or king kong bundy and before wrestlemania 3 you're going to get a preview of what's going to happen at wrestlemania 3 here tonight at saturday night's main event ought to be a very good match nonetheless 
But how do you intend to square off against a man like King Kong Bundy? Well, as everybody knows, Mean Gene, it ain't the size of the man, but what's in the package. And I've got to tell you right now, Mean Gene, I whop a heck of a wallet, wallop. I have a heck of a wallop inside my package, and I'll tell you what. When it comes to big man, big man do not scare me because I was raised on the country. And when you raised on the country, you go up a lot against a lot of big men in the country. Because I'll tell you what, my family tree line, hoo-wee, there's a lot of big men in there, man. And we call them hosses because they are as big as a hoss. I'll tell you, mean Gene. If it's a fight that King Kong Bunny's looking for, it's a fight he's going to get. Because you don't go messing with a country boy. Well, I guess that's it for Hillbilly Jim. Now let's hear it for the, from the big man himself, the 425-pounder King Kong Bundy with his manager, Bobby the Brain Heaton. King Kong Bundy, how do you feel about your opponent tonight, Hillbilly Jim, and how do you feel about the midget match that's about to take place at WrestleMania? Well, I'm going to tell you, Mean Gene, that no good for nothing, Hillbilly Jim. He ain't nothing. He talks about me being nothing. He talks about wrestling big horses back in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, let me tell you something, Hillbilly Jim. I'm going to squash you like one of those midgets. And as a matter of fact, by the time I get done squashing you, you will become a midget. And let me tell you something else, Mean Gene Oakland. Mean Gene Oakland. As far as the midget match is concerned, I don't give a crap. I don't deal with midgets. I don't wrestle with midgets. And quite frankly, I don't like midgets. But my King Kong Bundy is not wrestling some midgets tonight. He's wrestling a 300-pound barn animal pig slop filth. Uh, filthy, disgusting, backwoods, barefooted, front tooth missing, cousin marrying, Corn cob pipe smoking, tobacco chewing, tin can spitting, manure shoveling, hillbilly. And I'll tell you what, we don't think too kindly to those hillbillies in these here parts. Come on, let's go smash them. Yeah! Oh, you just heard it from King Kong Bundy and Bobby the Brain Heaton. I'll tell you, the brain is definitely not at loss for words when it comes to Hillbilly Jim. Back to you, Vince McMahon and Jesse the Body. Well, thank you for that special report, me, Gene Okerlin. Jesse, I tell you, this is going to be a heck of a match coming up. Yes, indeed it is, McMahon. You've got King Kong Bundy going up against Hillbilly Jim. And I'll tell you, I agree with every single thing Bobby the Brain Heaton said about Hillbilly Jim. I don't remember it all, but I agree with it all. Well, that Hillbilly Jim may be a backwoods, barefooted hillbilly. In fact, I do believe that's in the title of his name. So I don't think Bobby the Brain Heaton knows what an insult means. Well, of course he knows what an insult means. He's the brain. He knows everything. If you say so, Jesse. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's take it now to Howard Finkel for the next matchup. Howie? Since when are you on first name basis with Howard Finkel? Since forever. Thank you, Vince McMahon. The, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way down to the ring. From the Black Hills of West Virginia, weighing in at 300 
and 27 pounds, he is Hillbilly Jim. Here he comes, Hillbilly Jim. Ha <laughs> ha. And look at him, Jesse. He looks better than ever. Well, I don't know about better than ever, big man. But I will admit one thing. I will admit he is one tough guy. One tough guy indeed. But is he tough enough to take on a big giant like King Kong Bundy? Well, now you're making sense, McMahon. I don't think he is tough enough to take on King Kong Bundy. First of all, King Kong Bundy outweighs him by about 145 pounds. The next thing is... King Kong Bundy has a manager of the likes of Bobby the Brain Heaton. I say manager or not, I think Hillbilly Jim stands a chance at being very victorious here tonight. And now, making his way down the aisle, being accompanied by his manager, Bobby the Brain Heaton, weighing in at 400 at 57 pounds, here is King Kong Bundy! And here comes the big man himself, King Kong Bundy! Boy, does he look good. I can't wait to WrestleMania 3 when he's going to make mincemeat pie out of those midgets. Well, as I explained to you before, you can't touch the midgets. It's the Midgets versus the Midgets and King Kong Bundy versus that man right there, Hillbilly Jim. So basically, we're seeing the preview of WrestleMania 3 here tonight. Indeed, we are. As you see Bobby the Brain Heaton on the outside of the ring here, and these two are looking each other eye to eye. Well, actually, McMahon, technically, eye to belly. Huh? Well, there goes the bell, and this match will get under its way here as Hillbilly Jim's wasting no time at all with lefts and rights and lefts and rights. But uh, the big man's just laughing at him. He's laughing at him in that ring. Well, of course he's laughing at him, McMahon. He's barely putting anything on the big guy. And he just knocks Hillbilly Jim down with one big shove, and now his foot is stomping away at Hillbilly Jim. I told you from the beginning of this match, ugh, Hillbilly Jim is no match for King Kong Bundy. You're probably right, as King Kong Bundy's just handling Hillbilly Jim now like he's a little baby. Oh, but he's proud of that fact, McMahon, and wouldn't you be? I don't know if I would be or not. Oh, he just tosses him out of the ring like a sack of potatoes, and King Kong Bundy just standing there laughing at him. <laughs> Come in here, you barefooted hillbilly! <laughs> you call me a hillbilly is about as funny as me calling you a gorilla. Oh my goodness, they're exchanging words here. As a hillbilly Jim now being careful, going off those ropes, drop kick, down goes King Kong Bundy. I would have thought it would have taken three or four drop kicks. Indeed it does not, is Hillbilly Jim now going to town on King Kong Bundy a little bit. And I say a little bit, as King Kong Bundy just shoved uh, Hillbilly Jim down to the ground like he weren't nothing. Well now at least we're going to get a little hint of the offense that uh, Hillbilly Jim's going to be using. There he comes. A headbutt. Oh, that took care of the big guy. But can Hillbilly Jim manage him? He throws him off the ropes. A flying body tackle, and he's going to have to do that. If not more, a uh, forearm smash, another forearm smash, and yet another one. Say Hillbilly Jim's taking care of King Kong Bundy pretty well. Off the ropes. Big boot to the face, and it sends the big guy down. Hillbilly Jim off the ropes. A leg drop. He's going for the cover. Way too early, McMahon. Way too early. One, two, and... Oh, no way. King Kong Bundy kicks out with authority. He sure did. Wow. What a powerful move, McMahon. Yes, indeed it was, as Hillbilly Jim is filling the sting 
Now these two tie up, if you can call it that. And now King Kong Bundy. Whoa, he just threw Hillbilly Jim out of the ring. I hope we don't have another double count out. No, there just might be a clear winner here tonight. They will definitely settle their differences at WrestleMania 3. And oh, he reversed it. And King Kong Bundy just caught the turnbuckle. And now King Kong Bundy sliding back into the ring. I believe King Kong Bundy's hurt after he just caught some of that turnbuckle. And now, oh, look at that. He actually put him in an atomic drop. He's able to get the big man down. And now Hillbilly Jim going to the outside. He's on the top rope. He's on the top rope and the big guy is down. Guy on his feet now. Double X handle move from the top rope. Hillbilly Jim going for the cover. He might get him this time, Jesse. One, two. No. Wow. We would a kick out. Guy on his feet now. Hillbilly Jim on his feet. He goes off the ropes. Whoa. He just got caught in midair. I don't believe it. Ugh. Into the turnbuckles or into the kill Billy Jim. And here comes the big guy off the rope. Oh, big splash. Oh, he picks up Hill Billy Jim. Oh, a powerful slam down. I think this is the beginning of the end for Hill Billy Jim. King Kong Bunny going off the ropes. Avalanche! Big time avalanche! I don't believe it! One, two, and forget about it! This one's all over with! This one's all over with! As there goes the bell, and King Kong Bundy officially gets the win! This is exactly the way it'll go down to WrestleMania 3, except there'll be midgets involved. And Bobby the Brain, he didn't get an in there to congratulate King Kong Bundy. Let's go down now and let's take a look at some of the action that happened just earlier on. Billy Jim goes off the ropes as the big guy catches him in midair. Caught him in midair. Yeah, that's over 300 pounds. That's 355 pounds there. And now he picks up Hillbilly Jim into the uh, rope. It's all over with from here, McMahon. As you see, the big time splash there by uh, King Kong Bundy as he slams him down. And the avalanche. And yes, one, two, and three. It's all over with. King Kong Bundy pulls it off with no problem at all. Let's get the official word down here. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, King Kong Bundy! King Kong Bundy pulls off a win against Hillbilly Jim. And ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go to a few commercial breaks. We'll be right back with more Saturday night's main event. Don't go away. Hey, what about the bathroom? Can they go to the bathroom? Well, yeah, I guess they can go to the bathroom. Can they go watch my Predator movie? No, that'll take too long. WrestleMania 3. Bigger, better, badder. Only on pay-per-view. WrestleMania 3. At the Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan. It'll be Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. WrestleMania 3. Bigger, badder, better. Don't miss your chance to watch it on pay-per-view this Sunday. WrestleMania 3. Things will never be the same again. Welcome back to Saturday Night's Main Event. 
Hello everybody, I'm Vince McMahon along with Jesse the Body Venture and we are back here tonight on Saturday Night's Main Event. A few special notes before we go on. Next week on WWF Superstars, a very special Piper's Pit as we take a look back on uh, very, um, various Piper's Pits in the past. Boy, try to say that three times fast. So we're not going to no longer see another edition of Piper's Pit. That will be the very last Piper's Pit. This next coming week, it'll be after WrestleMania 3. As you may or may not have heard, WrestleMania 3 will be Roddy Roddy Piper's last match. But next week on WWF Superstars will be a very special edition of Piper's Pit. I'm looking forward to that, McMahon. I bet you are. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we'll hear more about WrestleMania 3 from me, Gene Oakland, here later on in the program. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we've got me, Gene Oakland, in the backstage area with the Million Dollar Man. Take it away, Gene. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is once again me, me, Gene Oakland, as I'm standing by with the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and his bodyguard, Virgil, as the Million Dollar Man gets all set to go up against Junkyard Dog here tonight at Saturday night's main event, and at WrestleMania, Million Dollar Man, you will be facing George the Animal Steel, and how do you feel about this event at WrestleMania 3? Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. It's simple. George the Animal Steel is nothing to the Million Dollar Man. He is low life. He's a low life form to the Million Dollar Man, and to be honest with you, I shouldn't even be putting my hands on a dirty man like George the Animal Steel. Hell, I might as well let Virgil, my bodyguard, take on George the Animal Steel. But because I am a professional athlete, I will stop at no bounds to, to take the challenge that any man presents to me. Well, tonight, Junkyard Dog has issued a challenge to you at Saturday Night's Main Event. And are you prepared to take on this challenge? <laughs> Junkyard dog. <laughs> Mangy in Oakland, are you serious? I'll beat Junkyard dog like the dog he is. Because I'm the million dollar man. Look at that belt. Look at that shiny golden belt, Mean Gene. Yes, I see it very much. Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. It's this simple. I didn't just get that belt by chance, you know. I got that belt because it's the only belt deserving of the Million Dollar Man. And tonight, the Junkyard Dog will find out that I'm the Million Dollar Man, and I always get my way. <laughs> Come on, Virgil, we got a match to go to. Well, there you have it. Well, there you have it. There's the words from the Million Dollar Man. And now let's hear it from the Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog. First of all, let me just say it's nice to see you back in action after that horrific beating you took at the Royal Rumble at the hands of Jerry the King Lawler. Now, I am to understand that Jerry the King Lawler has been barred from ringside tonight by... By orders of President Jack Tunney, as President Jack Tunney has stated that if he does come down to ringside, he will be suspended and will not be allowed to participate at WrestleMania 3. And at WrestleMania 3, as we all know, there are special stipulations for WrestleMania 3. Do you care to clarify this to the audience, Mr. Junkyard Dog? Well, first of all, Mean Gene Oakland, you don't have to go around calling me mister. It's just Junkyard Dog or JYD as them my friends call me. I do consider you a friend, Mean Gene, but I'll tell you, the match at WrestleMania 3 is simple. 
Jerry the King Lawler thinks I should bow down to him because he's the king. Well, WrestleMania 3, if he can beat the Junkyard Dog, I will in fact bow down to the king, Jerry the King Lawler. But if he, if I beat him at WrestleMania 3, then he's got to bow down to me, the Junkyard Dog. Wow, that sounds very interesting indeed, Mr. JYD. Good luck to you tonight for your match tonight, and good luck to you tomorrow night at WrestleMania. Well, I appreciate that, Mean Gene. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta get prepared for my match. See you later, buddy. See you later, Mr. Junkyard Dog. That's just Junkyard Dog. Very well, then. Back to you, Vince. There you have it. There's a few hasty words from a non-hasty man, the Junkyard Dog, JYD, as he gets set tonight to face the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and that's going to be quite a match. Yes, indeed, it is going to be quite a match, McMahon, but I'll tell you what. The Million Dollar Man has Virgil in his corner. The Million Dollar Man is 100% pedigree, and I think... The Million Dollar Man is intelligent enough that he can stage off a terrific offense against Junkyard Dog. Well, we'll find out as here is Howard Finkel with that match. Howie? Thank you, Vince McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Already in the ring, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 327 pounds, here is the Junkyard Dog! Well, there he is, the Junkyard Dog, JYD. And boy, he looks more ready and determined than ever, as he will sit to face off against the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Well, I tell you what, McMahon, he's got that chain in the ring, and I don't think that chain should be allowed to be even in there. Well, the uh, Million Dollar Man will have Virgil in the ring, so the chain, I think, is very much justified. Well, I don't, don't know about that, McMahon, if the chain is justified or not, but uh, we'll find out here in a few seconds who the better man really is. And now introducing the opponent from Sensational Residence with his bodyguard Virgil weighing in at 247 pounds, here is the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Well, here comes the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, with his bodyguard Virgil. And boy, look at the shine on that million dollar belt, McMahon. All them diamonds glistering. I'll tell you what, the million dollar man may be rich and he may have all that money, but money doesn't buy everything. Oh yeah, we'll tell that to all the people that he's bought so far, including Virgil, and see if they agree with you. Well, I know he's bought a lot of people, but the junkyard dog, no way. I never said he bought the Junkyard Dog, McMahon. There's Virgil showing off that million dollar belt like it was some sort of championship belt. It is a championship belt. It's a million dollar championship belt, McMahon. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the million dollar man gets ready in his corner. Uh, JYD ready in his corner. Now let's get one last look at that million dollar belt as it sits there on the announce table. Like it's a championship belt of some sort. And remember Jess, Jerry the King Lawler has been barred from ringside which means if he comes down here in any way, shape or form, he will be suspended and not allowed to participate at WrestleMania 3. Well, I don't know if that should be necessary, though, McMahon. I mean, Jerry the King Lawler is the king of wrestling. 
And uh, JYD has disrespected him time and time again. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there goes the bell to officially begin this one. You see the Million Dollar Man really going after JYD as he punches away at him and clotheslines him, and he lands outside the ring. It's not going to matter the Junkyard Dog as he comes back in here. And with a stomp and another stomp. Got the offensive now. Nice little hip toss. He goes up. Wait, no, he doesn't. Virgil grabbed his boot. And now he's getting on the Virgil for it. Wait a minute. Here comes the million dollar man. Million dollar man picks him up. Sidewalk suplex there. That's one advantage the million dollar man has. He has Virgil at his advantage as a manager. Indeed, he does. See, the Million Dollar Man's smart. He wasn't going to go after JYD without a game plan. I never said he wouldn't. But anyway, these two are wrestling. They are competitors in that ring, McMahon. Indeed they are. As Million Dollar Man goes off those ropes. Flying fist punch. Million Dollar Man and... Uh, JYD, all million dollar man here so far. As a million dollar man keeps the uh, offense on the JYD. As these two lock up again. JYD scoop slams the million dollar man. As he has nothing to worry about. As uh, he goes for the cover. He goes for the cover. One, two, no, that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough from the Million Dollar Man. Million Dollar Man picks up JYD. A nice uh, toss there by the Million Dollar Man off the ropes. Nice elbow smash by the Million, million Dollar Man. Irish whip into the corner. And a double X handle smash. And another double X handle. And another. Down goes JYD. And now the Million Dollar Man going to the top rope. And... Double X handle. Oh, he goes for the cover. Here comes the referee. One, two, no. JYD kicks out. Two count only as these two tangle up again. Million Dollar Man. Oh, down goes JYD. Million Dollar Man for double X handle drop. And then here comes JYD. Oh, he knocks down the Million Dollar Man. He stomps away. Million Dollar Man going outside the ring. JYD grabbing him by the legs. What's he gonna do now? Ah, slingshot back in the ring is the Million Dollar Man. Up against the ropes is the Million Dollar Man. Here he comes. Oh, 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 what a maneuver. And now, one heck of a backdrop. JYD goes for the cover. Here comes the ref. One, two, no. Million Dollar Man kicks out. And then look at this, Virgil hitting the wave at uh, JYD there from the outside. JYD now looking at Virgil. Wait a minute, oh! Million Dollar Man rose him up in a pin. And, uh, referee, one, two, no, he kicks out. Wait a minute, one, two, no, he kicks out again. Here comes JYD, clothesline, down is the Million Dollar Man. Referee looks over here, and now here comes the Million Dollar Man. A nice suplex there by JYD, staying away from Virgil, that's for sure, off the ropes. A nice elbow, he goes for the cover pin, here comes the referee, one, two, wait a million dollar man's foot's on the rope, so the referee now asking JYD to, uh, he has to stop the count, JYD trying to argue with the ref, a minute, that million dollar man has the chain, oh, he just knocked JYD completely out of the ring, and he throws the chain there. The referee's turned around, but he can't see what has happened. He doesn't know what's happened. Toss him back in, Virgil. Let's toss him back in, Virgil. There's Virgil. He tossed JYD back into the ring. Referee never saw the Million Dollar Man hit him with that chain. That's what I'm talking about, McMahon. That's what it takes to be a manager. Well, I guess so. But it's okay as long as you cheat, huh? Now the Million Dollar Man. Oh, he has him in the Million Dollar Dream. The Million Dollar Dream, this one could be all over with, and yeah, he's out. He's down and out. That's it, that's it. Referee calling for the bell. He's calling for the bell. He's calling for the bell.
There's the bell. Virgil, get me the money. Virgil coming into the ring now, and he's got those dollar bills. Those aren't dollar bills, McMahon. Those are $100 bills. Well, whatever. Let's get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Million Dollar Man. He put him to sleep with that uh, Million Dollar Dream. He may have put him to sleep with the Million Dollar Dream, but the referee never saw the chain that was wrapped around the hand of the Million Dollar Man. Let's take a look at that one more time. This is by JYD's own doing. He's blocking the referee's view. It still gives the Million Dollar Man no right to do this. He just hits him with that chain. Then, of course, Virgil tosses him back into the ring. The Million Dollar Man slaps on the dream. And down and out is JYD as the Million Dollar Man pulls off a win. There he goes. He's got one of those $100 bills, and he's shoving it in the mouth of uh, JYD. How disrespectful. Oh, what a disgraceful move disgraceful move I think it's a good move he's giving charity to JYD give me a break Jesse a good move ladies and gentlemen let's take it out to Mean Gene Okerlin with a Wrestlemania report Hello everybody, I'm Mean Gene Okerlin, and this is your WrestleMania Report. Matches that have been added to WrestleMania include Roddy Rowdy Piper versus Adrian Adonis in a haircut match. And ladies and gentlemen, this will be Roddy Rowdy Piper's last match, win, lose, or draw. Roddy Rowdy Piper is going off to retire from the WWF after WrestleMania 3. And another one will be the Macho Man Randy Savage versus the Honky Tonk Man for the Intercontinental Championship belt. The Big Boss Man versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Demolition versus the Hart Foundation for the tag team title. And of course, the main event. Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant for the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. Don't miss it. Don't miss the excitement. This Sunday at the Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan. One of the greatest spectacles of all time. WrestleMania 3. Order it on pay-per-view. This Sunday, on pay-per-view only. Be a part of it. Be a part of the excitement. Be a part of WrestleMania. Call your local cable provider today. For me, Gene Oakland, this has been your WrestleMania report. Back to you, Vince McMahon. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your WrestleMania report, WrestleMania 3 at the Pontiac Silverdome in Michigan. Boy, it's going to be a great spectacular. Well, I'll tell you what, McMahon, I'm looking forward to WrestleMania 3. You won't be there, and that's the main thing. Well, thanks a lot, Jesse. I like you, too. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Let's go down to some more wrestling action. Here's Howard Finkel. Well, that's the way it is, McMahon. I'll tell you what, Jess, I'm not going to miss you either. But I will miss Roddy Roddy Piper. Win, lose, or draw, he will be gone after WrestleMania. I will admit that, McMahon. That is one character I am going to miss. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall.
making his way down to the ring from Rapid Falls, Michigan, weighing in at 255 pounds, here is Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Where he comes down to the ring, the very wonderful and often imitated Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Boy, look at those shears, McMahon. Those should be considered a deadly weapon. I mean, they're not shears at all. They're, uh, they're, uh, you mean hedge clippers? Yes, that's right, hedge clippers. Those can be considered a deadly weapon, and Jack Tunney needs to look in on this. Of course, look who I'm talking about. I guess I'm asking too much, huh? Well, I don't think so. I don't think anybody can ask too much out of President Jack Tunney. But I don't think once you leave the ring or when you're coming into the ring, anything you bring down there, as long as you don't use it, is perfectly legal, Jesse. You know that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that man right there can do some strutting and he can do some cutting. Certainly at WrestleMania 3, we might see Roddy Roddy Piper do some cutting. Well, he's got to beat Adrian Adonis first. And he can't worry about cutting here. He's got to worry about winning the match. Indeed, here comes his opponent, Jake the Snake Roberts. He's got that black bag with him, McMahon. You know what that means. That means trouble. <laughs> Jake the Snake Roberts. I'll tell you what, I guess fair play is fair play if uh, Brutus Beefcake can bring that, uh, those shears down here in the ring, I guess Jake the Snake can bring that snake down here as well. Now you're speaking my language. As uh, both men are ready, the snake's over there in the corner, and the shears are over there in that corner. This could come down to one heck of a match, McMahon. Indeed it could. And there goes the bell to officially begin this match. These guys do not hate one another by any means, but boy, they sure came out swinging. Look at them. Brutus the Bar Beefcake going after Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake going after Beefcake. They're really going at it. Wait a minute. It looks like uh, Beefcake has a hold of Snake here. He's going to do something. He's got him up in the air. Yep, yeah, a scoop slam. He goes off the ropes. An elbow smash. These two definitely don't hate each other, but they are competitive. Yes, indeed they are. Jake the Snake getting suplexed by Brutus Beefcake. Think Beefcake will try to cut his hair after the match, do you? I don't think so. I don't think Jake will put that snake on Beefcake if he wins. Well, maybe. There's a nice hip toss by Brutus. Uh, Jake, you never know with him when he's going to do... Oh, as he is. Well, he is what he is. He's wrestling around here. Oh, a nice suplex there by Jake. And you know what? I just thought of something. Out of the ring goes Brutus Beefcake. And out after him goes Jake the Snake Roberts. I think he just took out two or three rows people there. Yes, indeed, I think. I think maybe you're right, as that has been the case all night. As we have seen these competitors really... Uh, Play some rough housing there with the audience. One, two, As you can hear the referee counting here, but these two do not care. Four, they are rumbling on the five, outside. Oh, a nice chop there by uh, Beefcake. Six, Jake the Snake. Oh, down goes two, Jake. Jake the Snake takes Beefcake now. Four, oh, into the turnbuckle goes Beefcake. And now, uh... He picks him up. He tosses him back in the ring on eight. Fight. Jake the Snake now. Irish whip into the ropes. And a spitting face buster. Not a DDT, but a face buster. He will go for the cover nonetheless. Here he goes. Going for the cover. One, two. Not quiet as Brutus the Barber Beefcake kicks out of that one. Barely. He barely kicks out. Yes, indeed he does. He's standing on his feet now. Oh, Jake the Snake not going to allow that, though. He goes after Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and he picks him up. 
Oh, a nice backdrop by Jake the Snake Roberts. Goes off the ropes. Oh, a flying body tackle. He rolls on him. Beefcake knocks him off. Jake the Snake down and out. Here comes Beefcake off the ropes. A flying leg drop. I don't believe it. Beefcake now going for the cover. One, two. Not quite, not quite. Not quite, heck, he didn't even get two and a half, but man. Tangle up now, Jake the Snake. A scoop slam. An elbow drop. And now, ooh, a stop to the bed section. Another time. And another one. Jake the Snake now has Beefcake. He tosses him off the rope. Drop kick down his Beefcake. He's signaling for the DDT now. Here we go. He's got Beefcake set up. He's got him in the DDT position, McMahon. It's all over with. Indeed, it's all over with if he can pull this off. DDT. DDT. It's all over with. He goes for the cover. One, two, and forget about it. It's all over. There goes the bell, and we have a winner. And there you have it. There's your official winner, Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the winner of this match, Jake the Snake Roberts. Now the question remains, is he going to put the snake on uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake? I don't know. He's looking at him funny. Uh oh, yep. Yeah, he's going to that bag. You know what that means. He's going to do it, McMahon. He's going to put the snake on uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Well, that is his thing. But I didn't think he would actually go through with it, though. Well, he didn't bring that snake out there just to show off, you know. Speaking of showing off, there he is. There's Damien. Oh, yes, indeed. He is putting the snake on Beefcake. He's putting him on him. There it is! He laid it on him! Wait a minute! Oh, gosh! Beefcake is getting out of the ring! He can't stand it! He cannot stand it! Beefcake getting out of here! He is getting out of here! Wait a minute! He forgot his shears! He gets his shears! Now he's getting out of here! Oh, he's going the wrong way, McMahon! Well, not necessarily! Oh, my goodness! He's got that snake around his neck! Very victorious here at Saturday night's main event. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go away for a few minutes. When we come back, it will be the contract signing. When Saturday night's main event continues. Don't go away. Hello. Are you tired of pepper that barely comes out of the shaker? Do you even know what I'm referring to? Pepper that's like this, that when you pour it, it barely comes out. If you're getting as tired of that as I am, then you will use the new and improved Stone Mill Essentials Pepper Shaker. The pepper shaker that you cannot do without. And I mean serious business. You take this, you grind it over salads, you grind it over everything, and it tastes 100% better because you're getting fresh pepper every time. So remember the next time you need to spice up your life, Stone Mill's Essential Pepper Grinder. Put some pepper in your life. WrestleMania 3. Bigger, better, better. As we see Hulk Hogan facing off against Andre the Giant for the World Wrestling Federation title. WrestleMania 3. At the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Mission, Michigan, only on pay-per-view. Call your local cable provider today. WrestleMania 3. Be part of the excitement. Be a part of WrestleMania.
Chris, I'm coming back to Saturday Night Live this week. You can steal all my glory. Hey, man, for doing your dad show up. I'm going to show up. Show up. Screen. We'll see. This week, Saturday Night Live. Watch it. Diet 7 Up. Welcome back to Saturday night's main event. We take you now to Mean Gene Oakland with the contract signing of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Hello everybody, I'm Mean Gene Oakland and I'm here with President of the WWF Jack Tunney and Bobby the Brain Heenan, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant for the contract signing for WrestleMania 3 as it will be Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant going one on one for the World Wrestling Federation Championship at WrestleMania 3. Now let's go on to the proceedings. Well, I'll tell you, yeah, well, you know, that's the thing we're going to have right now. If, yeah, well, I don't know about that. It's going to be. And, uh, you know, if it's going to be in Michigan, then I want special specifications for the Giant. We will have all that and a whole lot more. Ladies and gentle gentlemen, gentlemen, please, if you will get seated, Andre the Giant, if you will have a seat. Well, look at this, Andre the Giant looking on at Hulk Hogan. There you have the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. That's the thing these two guys are fighting for. And uh, Hulk Hogan not wanting, not saying anything. And Andre the Giant not talking as well. Well, we'll just see if Andre the Giant, if they can get him to sit down. If even he can sit down, McMahon. Okay, Andre the Giant, if you will please have a seat. We will begin this contract signing. There's a few things I would like to discuss before we begin with this contract signing. First of all, let's discuss this championship belt. You promised me we would have a new championship belt specially made for a man like Andre the Giant. Not this piece of garbage that we have here today. Yes, 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 I'm sure we can all come to terms. It's all in the contract. If Mr. Uh, if Mr. Bellagio would please sit down. Hey, I sit down when I'm good and ready. Well, are you ready, Mr. Giant? Now, would you just wait just one moment here, Mr. President? Andre will sign the contract when he's good and ready. We're going to go over it first. Go over it? Go over it? You have been over it three times. Hey, if we're going to sign it, then sign it. Well, you heard it from Hulk Hogan. Andre the Giant, will you now sit down so we can get on with this? Andre the Giant refusing to sit down. He just looks on here. Well, like I said before, McMahon, will Andre the Giant even be able to sit in one of those chairs? They probably had to bring a special chair here for Andre the Giant. He is staring at Hulk Hogan. He is staring down Hulk Hogan. Hogan staring down Andre the Giant. What a big man this Andre the Giant is. Mr. Andre the Giant, can you please sit down? Go ahead and sit down, Andre. Let's get this over with. Andre the Giant finally sitting down here as Hulk Hogan looks on. He may be looking on in terror, McMahon. I'd highly doubt that. Well then, here is the contract with Penn. Mr. Giant, if you will please put your John Hancock on this contract. His name is not John Hancock. I'm well aware of that, Mr. Brain. Mr. Heenan, I should say. Here we go is Andre the Giant with his giant hands. His giant hand cover, uh, signing the contract and tossing the pen down there at the other end to Hulk Hogan. 
Do you notice how Hulk, how Andre never looked down as he was signing? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an intense moment. I'll tell you one thing. Yes, indeed, it is intense, McMahon. You can cut the tension with a knife. Sign a contract, Hulk Hogan. I'll sign it. <sighs> As far as I'm concerned, that contract was just signed in blood, not inked. Here you go, Mr. President. Ugh. Very well then. With the signing of this contract, it is very clear that Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant will now face each other at WrestleMania 3 for the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. Oh, something, brother. You could have came to me man to man and demanded a title shot. But you ripping off my shirt and the crucifix pretty much sealed your faith as far as I'm concerned, Andre. Let me tell you something, Hulk Hogan. At WrestleMania 3, you will be mine. You hear from Andre the Giant as he is walking away. Not a very happy man, I might add, and Hulk Hogan looks on in terror. This room has become deadly silent. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen and members of the press. It will be Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Hulk Hogan has just tossed over the table as he walks off now. He is walking away, and I don't believe it. Hey, hey, hey. Hogan, you just wait till WrestleMania 3, brother. He just said, wait till WrestleMania 3, brother. Yeah, I heard him, McMahon. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the situation has become very tense. As we look on at President Jack Tunney barely missing a bullet there as Hogan turns over the table and walks out. Somebody get in here and clean up this table. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a few commercial breaks. And when we return, it'll be the main event at Saturday night's main event. Don't go away. WrestleMania 3! Bigger, better, better! Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant for the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. WrestleMania 3! Only on pay-per-view this Sunday! Be there, or be square! Hello, we are having a blue light special. Get your blue light special today at Blue Lights Emporium and Cells. We are running out of blue lights to sell. Get this very special model at Blue Lights Emporium at the Blue Light Blue Light Warehouse while supplies last. It is a Blue Light Special. We are selling all of our Blue Lights half price. And now when you get that particular Blue Light, you will also get this spinning globe. That spinning globe right there. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You won't believe the savings that you will save at the Blue Light Warehouse in the Porium. We're going crazy with prices. Do you trust your kids with any other vitamin? Well, don't do it, man. Get Hulk Hogan vitamins. The only vitamins with mega carotene. So make sure your kids are on the right vitamins. Hulk Hogan Vitamins, brother. Oh, I am Super Mario, and I'm a running for County Trash Commissioner. And I can do it, too, because I have the gloves, and I have the look, and the suspenders, and uh, no, not suspenders, I'm sorry. The coveralls, and everything that you would need for your County Trash Commission needs. 
I am Mario Palooza, and I approve of this message. Hey, don't listen to that no good for nothing Mario Palooza guy over there. Listen to me. Huh? I am Frank Sabani, and I am running for county commissioner. Mario Palooza is just going to lead you all to a trash pile. I mean, look at the landfill for crying out loud. There's all kinds of crap going on down there. Do you really want your city to be overrun by some stinky landfill? Well, if you don't, then vote for me, not Mario Palooza. I'm Frank Sabani, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm John LaChiara, Lauro Cat. I'm always in trouble with my last name. Anyway, I'll be hosting Saturday Night Live this week with you through guest Tim Buck 3 and me, John LaRocket. Welcome back to Saturday Night's main event as we get ready for the main event here tonight at Saturday Night's main event. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is the main event of Saturday night's main event. Already in the ring, being managed by Bobby the Brain Heathen from San Fermento, California, weighing in at 427 pounds, here is Big John Stud! Well, there you have it. Big John Stud standing there. And Bobby the Brain Heaton's managing him, McMahon. What kind of trouble does this hold for Superfly Jimmy Snooker? Well, I guess we're getting ready to find out here as uh, Superfly Jimmy Snooker gets ready to face off against Big John Stud in our main event here tonight at Saturday Night's Main event. Here he comes, Superfly. Here he comes, Superfly Jimmy Snooker making his way down to the ring here. Boy, what a match this is going to be for our main event as uh, the Superfly having a few choice words to say about Big John Stud earlier on as Big John Stud, you know the rest of the story, don't you, Jesse? What are you talking about? You talking about uh, at the Royal Rumble? Yes, this all went down at the Royal Rumble. I, I don't even think Superfly was in there at the same time as uh, Stud. Wasn't he already eliminated? I mean... Stud was number 30 at the Royal Rumble, remember? Yes, indeed, he was the last man to enter the Royal Rumble as Superfly does his thing there. The Flying Hawaiian, Superfly Jimmy Snooker. These two definitely ready to go after each other's throats, I'll tell you that much. There goes the bell to officially begin this main event match. Here we go as we see Bobby the Weasel Heaton over here. Stud really taking it to Superfly Jimmy Snooker. He picks him up. Nice circle backdrop. Stud at one time was unslammable until after WrestleMania 1, Andre the Giant slammed him for uh, $2,500. Stud really taking it to Snooker. I'll tell you that. Snooker's going to have to weave in and out of there. He's going to have to wear down Stud. He throws him off. Superfly with a drop kick. Oh, there goes John Stud. John Stud out of the ring there as the referee ran around there to count. I think the referee lost his balance and fell out of the ring as well. What's this? Superfly on the second rope. Oh, what a maneuver. He really takes it to Stud as he knocks down that guardrail. He's banging Stud's head into the canvas and tosses Stud back into the ring. He's on that second rope again. A nice maneuver. All into the ring. As referee better watch it. He's about to get clobbered here. Indeed he is. As John Stud and Superfly. Wait a minute. He picks up Superfly. A nice suplex there by John Stud. Look at this, McMahon. John Stud's really... 
Oh man, is he really going after him? They lock up here. And Superfly tossing uh, Stud in the corner there. A couple quick kicks, Stud goes down. But you notice he has not slammed the big guy yet. Of course he hasn't slammed the big guy, he can't. He tosses him out of the ring, goes Stud. And look at that, Snook on that second rope again. Oh, what a maneuver by Jimmy Snoopy the Weasel. I mean, Brain Heaton coming over here. We saw him run his mouth. Minute, he's backing away. Jimmy Snooka coming after him. Jimmy Snooka coming after the Weasel. And John Studd not far behind him. Oh, he hammers away at Snooka. He picks him up. Both men go back into the ring. Oh, look at this, a pinfall. No, 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 it's not a pinfall. He's on his back. He's on his back, but he gets out of whatever hold. Uh, Stud had him in, goes up the ropes. A flying headbutt, he goes for the cover. Three, one, two, and no. Stud kicks up with authority. What power in John Stud? I don't believe it. I'll be the weasel, the brain heat and clear over here now. We just stopped calling him the weasel. His name's Bobby the brain heat and Get it right, McMahon. I'd say he's your colleague sometimes. Ugh, yeah, and who said I had to like it? It's, uh, John Studd now working his way on Superfly Jimmy Snuka here. Who knows what's what's going to happen next as Studd goes off the ropes. Big time leg drop. And he goes for the cover. Here comes the referee. One, two, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Superfly's foot's on the rope. His foot was on the rope. The referee stopped the count. Superfly gets out of the corner there. Uh, Superfly starts to kick Snooka. Snooka, or uh, he starts to kick Stud. He takes him by the legs, flips him back in the ring. He's on that second rope again. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Bobby the brain heat and pulled on Snooka. Wait, he's got Snooka outside the ring here. The referee's caught in the ropes. Snooka. Tosses Heenan back and tossed Heenan in the ring, but Stud's got a hold of him. Atomic drop, clothesline, down goes Soup. And the weasel, the brain, gets out of the ring. He doesn't want anything to do with this one. Superfly was distracted there as Stud. Now, wait a minute. These two tangle up. Stud's got him way up in the air. A nice suplex there by Stud. He goes off the ropes. Oh, a wonderful, wonderful elbow smash. Looks like he's going to do a power driver. He's got him up in the air. Oh, a power driver. That's it. That's all over with. Snooka's lost this one. There's no saving Snooka now. One, two, and forget about it. Three. That's it. What a match. What a main event. Big John Stud victorious. Here comes Bobby the Brain, the Weasel Heenan, I should say. And, uh, it, well, Superfly Snooka, wait a minute, he's getting back to his feet. Oh, no, he's not neither. Down he goes again. Let's get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Big John Studd. Big John Studd has won this match, but I don't think he's done with Superfly Jimmy Snooka. Oh no, what's he gonna do with him? He's got his head on the outside there. He goes outside the ring. Get out of this seat, Finkel. He says, get out of this seat, Finkel. He just flipped the whole gosh dang table over. Howard Finkel with it. He's got a chair. What's he gonna do? Oh no. He's gonna do something devastating, Jesse. Indeed he is. I think he knocked down some of the audience. There he goes. Oh, what a clobber! Referee's getting out of there as well. He doesn't want anything to do with this. What's the referee, a coward or something? Look at the weasel. The weasel's taunting Superfly Jimmy Snooka. Here comes Stud. Stud's coming back into the ring. Stud's back in the ring. He's got that chair on him. Oh, what a devastating move. No, don't do it. Oh, no. Stud's gonna power drive him over the chair. Look at this, he's gonna do it. He's gonna power drive him over the chair. Somebody needs to get in there and do something. And yes, he power drives him onto the chair. And now he beats on him some more. He's stopping at him. 
Wait a minute, somebody's coming down to the ring. Bobby Heaton slitting outside the ring. There he goes. Hulk Hogan, it's the Hawkster. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's punching away at Stud. He's beating the holy heck out of him. Stud's out of the ring now. Stud has taken a beating from Hulk Hogan. Hogan's there with Superfly. Bobby the Weasel Heaton, he's leaving the area. There he goes. John Stud left as well. Hulk Hogan in here, he has stayed super, super fly. Jimmy Snooker for the moment. He's trying to help him back to his feet, McMahon. Indeed he does. And he helps him back to his feet. Hulk Hogan coming to the aid of super fly Jimmy Snooker. And uh, wait a minute. What is, what? Hey, what's going on here? I don't know. Somebody... The audience is going kind of nuts. Wait a minute. Here comes Bobby the Weasel hitting with Andre the Giant. They're getting down. Andre the Giant's got that chair. Oh, he just clobbered Hogan with it. He clobbers him again and again. And now he takes Hulk Hogan. He picks him up. He body slams Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is in trouble. Destroy him. Bobby the Brain, he didn't say destroy him. Giant standing over the body of the Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't like the looks of this at all. He picks up Hulk Hogan. What's he going to do? Oh, no. He threw him through a table. I don't believe it. Andre the Giant has just thrown Hogan through a table. Oh. Hogan laying there motionless. Here comes Superfly Jimmy Snooker to check on his friend Hulk Hogan. He's waving over here in the ring. He looks at Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant's already left the ring. Andre the Giant's leaving. He's got Bobby the Brain Eden with him. He's mouthing to Hulk Hogan. I think I read his lips. I think he said, see you at WrestleMania. Hogan may be hurt. He may not be able to fight at WrestleMania. Well, I don't know. But folks, that does it for... Saturday night's main event, we've got to go. This has been Vince McMahon for Jesse the Body Ventura saying, So long, everybody. See you at WrestleMania 3. I'll see you at WrestleMania 3, not you, McMahon. Man, we better get some help in there. This has been a presentation of the World Wrestling Federation. Most civilized, most civil excellence and sports entertainment.